Hi, I'm Emily Yates, 21, and a current final year student studying English Literature at Queen Mary University of London. I had the amazing opportunity to be a games maker at the London 2012 Paralympic Games, and being a wheelchair user myself with cerebral palsy, I decided that that's what I'd like to showcase my Blue Peter video on, the legacy of the Paralympic Games. I would love to become a Blue Peter presenter, as I believe that I'm exuberant and I have passion that would really show through when I'm presenting. I will now interview Natasha Davis, GB wheelchair basketball player, and Lord Sebastian Coe himself, who did actually mention me at his closing ceremony speech. I really hope you enjoy my video and thank you very much for watching. So here with me I have Natasha Davis, wheelchair basketball player and Paralympian who recently competed at the London 2012 Games. Tash, thank you so much for being here today. The Games must have been an absolutely amazing experience. I'm wondering if you can please tell me a little bit more about your personal highlight. Well, they were really amazing. Um, my personal highlight, it was the first time we went into the Greenwich Park Arena and it was, there were so many people there. There was, you looked up and there were thousands of GB supporters all cheering for you and that moment I felt so proud to be British. Incredible. I bet it was amazing to just be the host country and just experience all that support. Definitely. So could you tell me a little bit more about how wheelchair basketball is different from the running game? We've got a ball here so maybe we could um, do some examples of passes and I want to know the rules and how your chair is different from a day chair like mine. Well, it's very similar really to the running game. The ball's the same, the net's the same, the court's the same. Obviously the difference is the chair. Yeah. Um, but the passes, there's loads of different passes. For example, we've got the chest pass. Okay. So if I pass the ball to you, yeah. nice firm pass from the chest. Yeah. And then we have another option, uh, it's the bounce pass, okay. so if I bounce the ball And I bet that's a little bit worrying when you're close to another team member and you can intercept it, an opposing team member. Yes, definitely. I mean, all the time, um, the opposing team are trying to snatch the ball, yeah. they're, they're in your face, they're very physical, so you've got to make sure your passes are right, that everything you do is completely precise so that you can get out there and score, score the baskets and not have to worry about them. For any young people watching this who've been inspired by the Games, how can they get involved with advice from an Olympian? I want them to feel that they are emboldened to do anything that they think they can do off the back of the Games. And it's not just simply about sport. Of course, I'd love them all to be involved in sport, both Olympic and Paralympic sport. But I also want them off the back of the Cultural Olympiad to feel that they have the excitement, the inspiration to want to maybe act, maybe dance, maybe sing, maybe become website designers, sports reporters, PE teachers. And the great thing about the Games is that it showcased so many different creative talents. I hope people, young people in particular, are inspired by the people that they saw doing what they did during those Games. Thank you so much, Seb. My pleasure.